Hey, what's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of Emgo Build Stuff. This here is where I teach you how to make delicious fajitas without the fa. Just heat us. But moving on with the Eagle Moss slash Fan Home Ghostbusters Ecto 1 kit. We're still on issue 34. This is the uh, third assembly of issue 34. So here we have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Because as always, ain't nothing to it. Nothing to it. Yes. Slice this open. And I can go out of my life. And now let's open this up. Open. This is the most intense part of any episode of the Ecto 1 build is getting the stupid plastic tray open. It really doesn't want to. Come on. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Get the other corners. There we go. One more. One more. There we go. Hey, alrighty. So <laughs> we got screws here. More screws. And alrighty. So put this off to the side and we open up our instrucciones. Ay que instrucciones. So this is what we did last week. So we are here. What are we doing? We are on stage 129, completing the front light bar. In this stage, you complete the assembly of the front light bar, fitting it to the roof of your ectomobile. Oh! Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty, so now we are bringing in what we put together last week, and uh, we have to remove... This little assembly here. This is this is uh, part of what comes out of the uh, the blue tubes. So we got this. So what are we doing here? So first thing we are doing is we are fitting this switch in here. So it's going to be our on-off switch. I take it. So that's just going to sit right in here. Is there any specific orientation that looks like they want it this way? But don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on anything. <laughs> so, that's gonna sit right in there, and we need... Looks like this little brackety deal. And this is gonna hold all this stuff down. Right? Yes. So we need three EP screws. Let me just get these out right now. And maybe get one loaded on the screwdriver. Because it looks like this may be a little bit, not an ordeal per se, but just to make sure. So this is sitting here. And then this is going to sit. Uh, okay, so it's going to kind of cup around these wires, and then that'll sit here. That'll hold these in place. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so we get one screw that goes right up top. We'll just get it started. And then uh, two screws that go on either side here. So again, we get the potty started. We don't tighten anything until we have everything in place. It's just good. Good practice. There we go. And now... <gasps> Waste clear. And now we just get all this in snugging. Snug. And snug. And snug. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. And lovelier. Okay. So there we go. We got that all, uh, that big mess done. So now we are going to do what? We're going to connect some wires here. So. Let me try to get this somewhat untangled. There we go. Let's, let's, let's have that happening. That looks better. 
Okay, so now we're connecting these two wires to these two connectors. Doesn't matter which one goes where, probably not, because they're both going to do the exact same thing. So, just a case of powering these little motors. So, one goes there, one goes there. Thusly and thusly. And those are in as far as they can go. Okay. Wonderful. All right. So, we got that done. Lovely. Alrighty. So, now. What are we doing now? We are um, taking this black and gray wire. That's our on-off switch wire. That one's getting fed through here. And right. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Just double checking here. Double checking my work. Okay, so that's going through here. And basically, all of these lights are going to go through this hole as well. So, let's see what we're working with here. So, I'm just going to do this and this. Yeah, so now everything, all of these are just getting snaked up through here. And we'll see how this works out. <laughs> and one more. Now we're running out of space <laughs> to push this light through. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. I popped it through. I'd use a screwdriver just kind of push it through the rest of the way. <laughs> okay, so. So there are two longer wires, two shorter wires. I assume the shorter wires need to go on this side. Since they have a short distance to go, longer wires go on this side, since they'll have a longer distance to go. That makes the most sense to me. So, yeah, okay. Alrighty, so now what are we doing? Now we are just popping these through these openings here. So they'll go into the lights. So that just gets fed up there. This one gets fed right through here, and then through there, and through there. Okay. I don't know if there's supposed to actually like friction in anywhere. It doesn't seem like it. it doesn't seem like there's anywhere for them to like friction. It looks like they literally just kind of sit there. Okay. That's fine. That's that's fine. Okay, because looks like we have little brackets that are going to hold these in place anyway, right? Uh, are we looking at these? I think we're looking at these. Yeah. So they're going to hold the lights in place. Okay, I see what's happening. Okay. Again, I'm just double checking. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm doing all this right. There we go. So it's going like that, and this will take, uh, what? EP screw. It's only two more. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. I see what we're doing. I'm picking up what they're putting down. That just goes in here. And that will get secured. And that will hold those lights in place. They just have little posts there that's just kind of pushing them up. Okay. That makes sense. Somewhat. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you sit in there. Right there. And right there. And another EP screw. And you go in your home. Okay, so there we go. Those those things right there. Holding those lights in place. Okay. They're kind of flexing a little bit, but they don't push up any further. I don't want to force anything. We'll see what happens. 
when we actually connect this to the car, if that impedes anything. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But okay, we've done that. So now, um, it looks like they just want us to kind of tuck all this in here. It's kind of a little box for it. A little box for all this. Kind of want us to just tuck everything in here. Like that. Just kind of tidy this up as best you can. And then they just want us to put, looks like these stickers right over this. What are we doing here? We're taking the light bar lens right here. Look at this lovely piece, transparent blue plastic. Oh, it looks lovely. So lovely. Taking these side pieces here. This is getting flipped over and these are just getting secured on either side. Thusly and thusly. Right there, like that. And, oops, like that. Okay, that's just filling that out. Uh, this will take uh, six, like, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that yet. So we're putting this on, and then we're putting this onto it. Okay, my bad, my bad. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Did I do this? I think I did something wrong here. I did, I did, I did something wrong here. Yes. Sorry, this whole circuit board's supposed to be in there, too. <laughs> Alright, let me fix this real quick. Okay, I got all that packed in there. That was the best I could. That's, that's just the best I can do. <laughs> There's not a, lot of, not a lot of real estate in there to pack all that stuff into. Okay, so now... Let's go back here. So now... Okay, so we did this. And now... This will all be laying right on top of it. Like that. And this is where... There we go. Okay. Okay. We got that going. And now, now we do the screwing. Now this will take, uh, how many? I think six XP screws. Alrighty. Let's get these on. And there we have the last one. And snuggin. Apparently I took out one too many. There we go. Okay, there we go. We have a light bar. Look at that. Look at that. It's a light bar. Alrighty, so now what are we doing? Now we are taking this bit here. And now we need to uh, we need to bend this. So this has to get bent so it matches the shape of the light bar here. So I'm going to do that off camera real quick. Okay, there we go. Got that bent around. Oof, that was that was a little bit nerve-wracking, but I managed. I managed. It's a fingerprint magnet also, but that's okay. Okay, so now <laughs> I said we just have two like, little trim pieces. They're gonna go on either side. And these have little sticky tape that you have to peel. Peel. Oh, peel. There we go. Satisfying. It's a satisfying peel. And that's just gonna sit right there. Boop. And right here. Peel. 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 Come on, peel for me. Peel for me. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Peel. 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 <laughs> Try this side. Peel. <laughs> I know there's an easier way to do this. I just, I enjoy the torturous way. I'm a glutton for punishment. I really am. There we go. Yo! Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so we're just sitting right about there. And lovely. Okay, beautiful. There we go. We got a slight bar. Yay! That's everything here also. Oh no, wait. Oh, I did skip a p I, I skipped a step. I skipped a step. Hold up, hold up. Uh we have to do this right here. So, yeah. Okay. Which means I actually put this on backwards, but that's okay. I can flip that. That's not a problem. Okay, so we have a little clippity-do here that is going to hold this wire in place. So 
It just goes there. This will take a singular MP screw. I thought I was done. Just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. It's just the way this works. Alright, there we go. Get that snuggened. And there we go. That's still loose. <laughs> I thought you weren't snuggened. How dare you lie to me? You lied to me. There you go. Now you're in snuggin'. There we go. So now that's just going to get clipped right in there. Like so. Which means that this is now backwards. Let me flip that real quick. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Everything is now as it should be. Wonderful. So now it's finally time to uh, bring in the car and attach our first light bar. Yay! Alrighty, here we have the car, and this should just drop down right here. Just little brackets for it. Oops. Uh -oh. There we go. And just pointing in just to drop down where it's supposed to go. There we go. Oh, no. Oh. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, so now this is going to secure from either side with uh, two AP screws. So I'm going to get those on real quick. And there is the last screw and snuggins. Got it snuggin on both sides. And there we go. So now it's just a matter of connecting this back up. Which was this? This was N, right? N? Yes. So we just connect this back up. And voila, there we go. We're all connected back up. And that is it for this stage of the build. We have our first light bar. Yay! So, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there, peoples. We're getting there. But, yeah, that is it for this stage of the build. This is what the assembled pieces should look like. That is, in fact, what it looks like. So I think I did everything correctly. God only knows, but... There you go! Now, if you would like to sign up for any of Fan Home's kits, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure. You can watch this lovely ghost-busting vehicle take shape before your very eyes. So, there you go! As always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face.